and welcome back to my channel again the diagnosis i'll be doing in this vehicle will apply for any make any year any model i don't have any codes stored in the pcm the pcm is cleaned so i couldn't find any information there so i'll be diagnosing the problem doing some tests i dropped the vehicle and it seemed like a, the the car like very clogged something like that i don't know yet or either transmission problem because the gears are changing very late and the transmission and the transmission so since i don't have any codes the engine is shaking a little bit too but the car will not accelerate at all, at all. so i'll be diagnosing the problem and see what i can find screws here uh, these are phillips and very easy the front here that's the sensor right there it's kind of dark uh we're gonna see if we can take it out to do a back pressure test on the catalog converter in the front here this is the easiest one so that's why we're gonna do this first and these are 10 millimeter bolt here for this uh, plastic cover here we're gonna take it out uh, to have a better access to the connector this one and this one here 10 millimeter bolt right there the other ones are on this side here and the uh, that's one right there and here there is another one here That's a, I think this a, that's a clip. It seems like it's coming out. And that's the sensor right there. We already put the socket on it. Uh, we're gonna get it out from the top of the engine. Now we're gonna take out the sensor right there. Okay. And there is. That is the hole right there. And right now we're gonna put the, the pressure gash to do the back pressure test. My friend is going beneath the car to see if uh, we have a bad access there. I'm just gonna tighten it a little bit. And uh, if everything is fine with the catalytic converter, if pressure is not created by the gash, by the catalytic converter, this should not move from there, but if it goes up, then it should be creating pressure. So we're ready to do the test. Let's see. And as you can see, it's not creating pressure. So that catalog converter uh, should be good. Now this one is the one on the front. We gotta do the, the one on the back. Písele un poquito de gas. My friend is uh, ripping up the engine and nothing happened. So everything should be fine with the catalog converter. And I did not get in camera. Uh, we took this uh, 12 millimeter bolt here for the radiator supports here. I'm gonna put the sensor back. No, it's tight. Ready? Yeah. Beautiful. Just make sure when you put in this uh, sensor back, do not twist the wires. They are very sensible to be damaged when the when the wires are uh, twisted. And now my friend is gonna place his hand, uh, his uh, right hand right here. And at the same time, himself is gonna go with uh, his left hand on the other side to see if he can grab the connector and, and disconnect the sensor, the O2 sensor that is behind the, the, the intake, the intake manifold. Uh, maybe we can uh, take out the sensor without removing the, the intake right there. And we got that connector. Uh, we disconnected from here. My friend placed his hand over here, uh, right hand, and his left hand on the other side. So he grabbed the connector from both sides and he got it out. We put the extension here already and we already lose it. Uh, we did not show it on camera because uh, it's just impossible from here and beneath the vehicle. That's the rock and pinion right there. And once you place your hands over here, you cover everything so there's no way to uh, to record so we disconnected from the top and we are uh, getting it out of here uh, out of there uh, from beneath uh, of the engine it hardly can be seen there temporarily we're gonna put the intake right there to turn on the vehicle we already installed the, the quattro gash and the auto sensor port now this is the quattro gash here This 
see the needle is uh, stancing, stancing, but still not creating pressure. The engine is still breathing, and this should be uh, okay, it's still okay, uh, because it's not creating a pressure. And next, I'm gonna be testing the ignition coil packs for a spark, and uh, let's see uh, how everything comes out. Hope the camera can pick that up. Uh, it, it has a good spark right there, so we're gonna go to the next one. And also has a good spark, so we're gonna go to the next one right now. And that also has a good spark right there, the three of them are uh, very good. Probably some codes are gonna be stored right now, maybe in the computer and the PCM, but because we, dis uh, we disconnected them. Uh, compression test, this is a regular comp uh, compression test. So I disconnected the ignition coil packs and uh, also we disabled the fuel system. Yeah. And that's about 160. Uh, that is okay, no problem with that. So we're gonna go to the next one. Right now that was the last one and it also came out good uh, above uh, 150 between 150 and 175 so now we still gotta work on the back of the engine and but that's but that's kind of a little more difficult because of the intake because everything is good here on the front two 10 millimeter bolts right there we're gonna take out the in, uh, intake manifold we want to get to the ignition coil packs and the rear and the bank one I'm gonna disconnect the battery here those are three 10 millimeter uh, nuts and we have to remove this uh, 10 millimeter bolt here uh, and this connector here okay. I'm gonna take out the battery so we have more space here that is 8 millimeter bolt right there we're taking it out that's a bracket that is uh, bolted to the intake manifold and then to the engine block and now we take we're gonna detach the the EGR valve from the intake manifold right there two 12 millimeter bolts that one right there and another one on the other side now we're gonna remove the the eight millimeter bolts right there uh, one two three four five and six for the intake manifold Yeah, six mm -hmm. bolts, yeah. yeah and we're gonna remove these hoses, all these hoses here right now, just basically a small clamps. This is supposed to be done before, and we forgot it, we removed those bolts already, but it's not a problem, but remove remove these uh, hoses first from the, from the throttle body here. Okay, that's nice right. The intake is ready to come out. So right now we're gonna check the the spark on this uh, on this ignition coil packs here on the rear, the uh, cylinder head number one. We're gonna put a cover right there to cover the intake manifold holes right there. All right, and right now we're gonna uh, test the spark right there. Uh, the, that's the first uh, ignition coil pack in the rear. Good. Yeah. Uh, my friend says there is spark. All right, we're gonna test the other one right now, the one in the middle. Good. The ignition coil pack is, all, uh, is also good. It has very strong spark. All right, now we're gonna test the last one here on this side. No, no, stop. No power. Huh? No power. Why not? No. Listo. Go. Yeah, as uh, you guys uh, saw already, this ignition coil pack is not throwing any spark. It has no spark at all, nothing. Uh, we get a feeling that this is the problem, that we have found the problem, but now I don't know if it's the, spark, if it's the ignition coil pack or the wire. So we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch another ignition coil pack to here uh, to rule out the wires. That's the first thing uh, I'm gonna do, we're gonna do right now. 
All right, we're gonna test this one right now and see what happens. See if the, the problems are on the wires or the ignition coil power with the problem. We're gonna see. Okay, it's hard, but a little, a little. Really? Yeah. Está tirando, pero no can tira. you go? Can yeah. you go there? I'm gonna see. Well, my friend says that I, it, I had a little bit of a spark, but not too much, not a lot. So I'm gonna try it. Vamos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's throwing spark. Definitely no spark on this one. This is a bad ignition coil pack uh, because there is no spark. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this uh, ignition coil pack. It's damaged, it's not good. And hope we can fix the problem with this uh, uh, by replacing this. I'm not gonna do a compression test right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and replace this because I'm positive this is the problem. Uh, this uh, minivan has uh, lost a lot of power. It seems like it has tran transmission problem. Even uh, changes gear uh, kind of late, but it's not that transmission. I'm pretty sure this is the problem here. Uh, lately, when gas is pushed, uh, for the van to accelerate, uh, it doesn't want to go, it loses a lot of power. So I thought it was like a catalytic converter because it has no codes at all. There was no catalytic converter problem. Alright, this is the new one here that is going in. Uh, still we're gonna test it. Uh, this is a car quest and hopefully that works. And uh, this is the part number here. So we're gonna test it, even though it's new by use, I still gotta test it. It's good. We proved already that that's uh, the, the new ignition coil pack is good. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, put in everything back. So we're gonna be replacing all the spark plugs and uh, the, all the ignition coil packs, the three, uh, the three spark plugs and the three ignition coil packs here too. Uh, because this is the real cylinder head, cylinder head number one. It's not easy to get to it, so we're gonna replace everything. And never use a cordless ratchet, anything like that to remove the spark plugs. Always do it by hand. So I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna apply anise grease and the new spark plug so the uh, spark plug can, uh, uh, shouldn't get stuck in, uh, in the near future. And make sure you pull all of them by hand. And we're gonna start uh, putting by hand all the bolt, eight millimeter bolt and, uh, for the intake manifold right there. And make sure they all uh, go inside by hand first before uh, tightening them. All right, and that's, um, that's the engine running right there. It's running very smoothly with no problem very very smooth uh, but remember I also had to do a back pressure test on the catalog converters because uh, they were uh, suspected components for me but however nothing of that was the problem the problem was the ignition coil pack so but at this point both catalog converters are still fine thanks for watching the video and God bless you all